Welcome back to A Slice of Coaching, our weekly online get-together. Coach Talley, myself, and the members of the Springford Youth Basketball would like to thank you again for giving us an opportunity to connect with you and give you some insight into our shared programs at the high school and youth basketball levels. When it comes to basketball, you can do the dribbling drills we gave you last week. In addition to those ideas, we're going to, again, be including ideas and drills to help you improve your basketball skills from your house, your basement, your driveway, your sidewalks. This week, our emphasis will be on footwork and defense. Remember, we would love for you to submit some of you, some of you working on the drills to our email address. It's sfybdrills at gmail.com. You can see that on the screen below as well. And each week, we're going to pick some random winners and hand deliver some special prizes to those who we feel are working the hardest and epitomizing spring forward basketball. We're excited to bring you some defensive drills. Uh, in our program, I can speak from our side on the girls' side. Obviously, defense is very important. It's pretty much it's what we've been known for in the world of basketball. Uh, and it's evident as since 1995, when we hold our opponents to 40 points and under, we have won 254 games while only losing 13. So it does bear into the success that we do experience. So the first thing we want to do is get in a proper stance on defense where your feet are about your shoulder width apart or slightly farther. You're on the balls of your feet. Your hands are out, preferably palms towards your defender, pointing towards the defender so you can get a wider area to tip a ball or on a pass. Okay. When you uh, are on a shooter, if they're a right-handed shooter, you put your left hand up high. And then if they're on a right-hand shooter or left-hand shooter, you put your right hand up. So that's going to be the proper stance. And Bella and Anna will demonstrate. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm Bella. And we're going to be doing some defensive drills. Stance. Deep time. Just hold it. Rest. Stance. Deep time. The next drill is what we call foot fire. So they're going to get into their stance, slap on the ground, and say D time, and get right in their stance with their hands out wide, palms facing out towards the defender, and they're going to fire as fast as they can with their feet then turn either right or left. Uh, they're gonna jump up and get a rebound as high as they can, reach as high as they can, bring the ball to your chest with your elbows out to protect. Then they'll go right back into fire and then they're gonna whack out. We call it whack out. Some people call it close out. We call it whack out. We're gonna stay low and sprint out to their man and get their hand up depending on what hand shooter or what hand they shoot with and then go back and continue the drill. Fire feet. Right. Turn left. Rebound. Uh. Fire feet. Turn right. Turn left. Back out. Ball. Good job. Fire feet. Turn right. Turn left. Rebound. Uh. Back out. Ball. Ball. The next drill we're going to do is with a cone, draw four cones. One on each elbow, one on each block. And they're going to get down, slap the floor, D time, whack out, sprint out, staying low, keeping their feet moving when they get to the first cone with a hand up um, as if they're defending a shooter. And the other hand is up on the side, up high, being very active. Uh, they will then drop step. So they're going to drop, they're going to pivot on their left foot and drop step with their right foot and then slide with their hands out, staying active, palms facing the defender, down to the opposite block. And then they'll sprint up to that block and do the same thing, uh, where they're going to whack out with the hand up, pivot with the right foot, and, and uh, drop step with the left and go back to the original block.
The last drill we'll do for today is whack out. Uh, we do this drill with multiple people, but for today we're just going to do it with two. So the player down on the block is going to throw the ball out to the offensive player out on the side, which we call offensively is the side. You may call it the wing. The wing to us is down in the corner. Um, but that she'll throw it out to the side. She'll follow the pass, sprinting out, staying low, and coming to her uh, stance position on the ball uh, with her feet constantly moving. If it's a right-handed shooter, again, your uh, left hand goes up. If it's a left-handed shooter, your right hand goes up. And then you're one arm length away pressuring the ball. And you're on the high shoulder. The high shoulder is the shoulder that's towards half court or towards middle of the court on the load line. Um, so they're going to guard the, the ball. The person will dribble. When they pick up the dribble, we do what we call take space away. So they're going to yell dead and then space, space, space to remind everyone we're taking away that space. And each time the ball handler pivots, we're going to take that space away. The one thing I do want you to remind is you want to be very aggressive on defense, but smartly aggressive. Remember this, fouling negates hustle. Fouling negates all the hard work that you do. So you don't want to commit fouls. You want to be as aggressive as you can, trace the basketball when they're moving in it, moving it and taking away your space. I hope these drills will help you out and look forward to seeing how you do with them uh, this week and sending us a video. We are also excited to introduce to you a new segment called Get to Know. In this segment, we will be picking out a member of our high school basketball community and asking them a series of questions to let you get to know them a little better as an athlete and as a member of the Springford community. This week, we will be featuring Lucy Olson. Hi, I'm Lucy Olson. I'm a junior, and one word to describe me would be energetic. My favorite movie is Maze Runner. My favorite meal to eat before a big game would be a nice big steak with a side of potatoes and noodles. I listen to music before a game, but nothing specific like some people do. I can't choose which is my favorite, but some of my favorite basketball players are Steph Curry, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Luka Doncic, and Matisse Thybul. And my favorite basketball team is the Sixers and the Bucks. Even though I watch more pro basketball than college basketball, my favorite college sports teams will now be the Villanova men's and women's basketball teams because that is where I am planning to attend college. Go Cats! My favorite subject is math, and athletics really helps me with academics because it helps me with time management. I started playing basketball when I was four or five years old, and my favorite thing about basketball is everything. Like, I love all of it. I love the friends I made out of it, my teammates, my coaches, and I just love the game in general. My teammates and I are really close and we want each other to succeed, so we push each other as hard as we can in practice to help them improve. And since we're all such great friends, we have such a fun time doing it. During a game, a good game or a bad game, I feel all the different emotions. I'm happy, I'm excited, I'm sad, I'm frustrated, but my teammates and I, we push through and we get through it together. Being an athlete helps me become a better person because it helps me improve my communication and my teamwork. I enjoy playing tennis with my school team and many other sports with my friends and family outside. I 100% believe that if you have the right attitude, then you can be anyone you want to be. Being an athlete makes me want to be the best that I can in everything that I do. Just like Michael Jordan would say. Thanks for watching. Bye. We wanted to close the segment with a, a collection of some Ram thoughts. Coach McDaniel and I were thinking of some quotes that we could use to help motivate you guys through these times. In the light of Michael Jordan's documentary that's popular on ESPN, I thought it was appropriate to include a quote from the greatest basketball player of all time. Arguments will also be accepted at the SFYB drills at Gmail account for those of you that feel as though LeBron James is the greatest. But in light of the documentary, 
A quote from the greatest basketball player of all time I thought was pretty appropriate for the times. Some people want it to happen, some wish it would happen, and others make it happen. So now's your chance when you have the extra time and you have the ability to make it happen under these circumstances. We look forward to seeing you next week. And as we sign off, I'll leave you with a quote from the Duke University men's basketball coach, Mike Krzyzewski, the Hall of Famer. Play and practice like you're trying to make the team. We'll see you next week.